What is up my fellow peeps? Kajun here. Kamen Rider and Pokemon are two of my favourite franchises. So for today's video, I thought I'd do something rather fun and bring the two together and design Pokemon types to the base forms of every main Kamen Rider. Like how Pokemon works, each rider won't get any more than two types. I have actually done a Pokemon video on this channel before, back in November when I talked about what my team would be if I were a trainer in the Pokemon world. So go check that if you wanna. With all that being said, please also like, comment, subscribe and share this video. And now, let's get started. First up is the typing that's in the thumbnail, Bug Fighting. Kamen Riders are also called Karate Bug Men and this is very fitting, especially since I gave this typing to nearly half of the main riders. The reason being, they're based on bugs and they skillfully fight for justice with their many hand-to-hand -hand combat techniques. I gave the bug fighting type to Ichigo, Nigo, V3, Rider Man, X, Stronger, Sky Rider, Super One, Zekros, Black, Black RX, ZO, J, Kuga, and Kabuto. Filling in the couple gaps from Shower, next up is Amazon, who I gave only the fighting type. One of three riders in this video to only have a single type. Unlike every other Shower rider, Amazon isn't based on any sort of bug, rather a lizard. Though I didn't feel the dragon type would fit Amazon very well, thus Amazon being only the fighting type. Lastly for the show riders is Shin, who I decided to give the bug dark typing. Bug because Shin is based on a grasshopper, a dark because he is very monstrous, being a mutant, and he wields some horrific attacks. Moving into Heisei, since I already covered Kuga, we now have Agito. For this rider I considered three possible types it could have, being Dragon because he is based on a European Dragon, Ground because his base form is literally called Ground Form, and Fighting for obvious reasons. In the end I decided to treat Agito like Kuga and have his primary type be his animal basis, so Agito is a Dragon and Fighting type. Next up is the third Heisei Rider, Ryuki, and the second Reiwa Rider, Saber, who I have both given the Fire Dragon typing. They both get this dual typing because they are both based on dragons that breathe fire, and also for Saber, because his, wep his main weapon is a sword with the elemental power of fire. Open your eyes for Fize, who I have given just the electric type. I've heard people debate whether Fize is based on a firefly or a shark. I'd be okay with giving him the bug type, but even though he's actually based on a shark, the water type doesn't really fit Fies whatsoever. Anyways, I gave Fies the electric type because of his futuristic design and all of the gadgets at his disposal. Next are two riders once again, Blade and Drive, whom I have given the steel fighting type. For Blade, I gave him this dual typing because he gives off night vibes with that metallic armour and wielding a sword. It's just rather thing honestly. For Drive, he has the steel type because he's based on a car, and the fighting type because he's a police officer, fighting against the evil roid mutes. Here we have two riders once again, Hibiki and Kiva. Two riders themed after monsters. I gave both of these two the fighting and dark types. Despite both being from monster races, which is the reasoning for their dark typing, they fight for the side of good, hence their fighting type. The last two riders for Heisei Phase 1 are up next, Deno and Decade. I've given both of these two their psychic and fighting type. They both have the fighting type for the same reason, being that they are great fighters, though each one's psychic type is for different reasons. Decade has it because he has the ability to travel between worlds, this type I think being the best fit for that ability of his. Deno has it because of the Taros, which allow him to change between his first four forms, possessing him to allow it to happen. Deno doesn't really feel right with the ghost type, so I gave him Psychic instead. Starting off Heisei Phase 2 is Double, who has two types to fit his split halves gimmick being the Flying and Fighting types. Flying represents the Cyclone half, as the type isn't just associated with birds, but also wind, which set up has control over. Fighting represents the Joker half, as it is the half most skilled with hand-to-hand combat. Counting the medals, next is O's. 
It'd be easy to just give him three types, but I've got to stick to two types for this. Because of Oz's free metal gimmick, I considered three types for him. Flying to represent the hawk head, normal to represent the tiger torso and claws, and bug to represent the grasshopper legs. In the end, I decided to get rid of the flying type, as Oz can't fly in this form, leaving Oz as a normal and bug type. It's space time, so let's give Forza his typing. Forza was a really weird one to come up with a typing for, as I didn't think of, I think any of the types fit him, until I remembered the psychic type has been given to many Pokemon originating from space. So that's one of them, but since he's just a regular guy in the suit, I gave Forza the normal type as well, making Forza a normal and psychic type. For the ringed magician wizard, I thought of three types I could give him. Fire, because his base form specialises in magic of that element, and Psychic and Fairy, because they're the types most closely associated with magic. I initially almost went with Fairy, but changed it to Psychic in the end after I remembered the existence of Delphox, an actual fire and psychic type Pokemon which has witch like qualities and manipulates fire by wielding a branch like a wand. Yes, another rider I considered three types for, but the last one like this. For Gaim, I considered the Grass type because he has orange themed armor, Steel because the armor is metallic, and Fighting because Gaim is based on a samurai, a skilled warrior wielding a sword. In the end, I settled on the Grass and Fighting types for this armored rider. Ghost's typing should be very obvious from his name alone. He is pure Ghost type, in fact the last pure typed one for this video. Like with Forze, X-Egg was a really weird one to come up with the typing for. Now this time, the psychic type couldn't save me because x Egg is video game themed. Video games are digital, and the closest thing to a digital type is electric. So that's one. I'm not sure how to exactly explain it, but fighting, I felt, fit x Egg as well. So x Egg is an electric and fighting type. Much like with Double, Build has a split halves gimmick, so he also gets two types, being Normal and Steel. Normal represents the rabbit half, being just a regular animal, and Steel represents the tank half, being a giant vehicle made of metal. Ending of Heisei is the King of Time, Zero, whom I decided to give the Steel and Psychic typing. Steel because he is based on the watch, which is made of metal, and Psychic to fit the time and time travelling aspects of this rider. Oddly enough, this would ma actually make Zero share his typing with two Pokemon with time powers. Steel with the ruler of time, Dialga, and Psychic with the time travelling, Celebi. Entering the current era of Rewa, we got Zero One, who I assigned the bug and electric typing. Bug because of Zero One's grasshopper basis and electric for his futuristic design. Birdie up for the current main riders, starting with Revi. He has the dragon typing to fit his Tyrannosaurus Rex basis. The animal obviously isn't a dragon, but it's pretty well close enough. And the fighting type for obvious rider reasons. But mainly to contrast Vice, who has the dragon typing for the same reasons as Revi, but the dark type instead of fighting because Vice is literally a demon and he fights with a wild fighting style. Just for the heck of it, I'm including Amazon Omega 2 being the main rider of Kamen Rider Amazons. He has the fighting type like his basis, Amazon, and the dark type to fit the savage nature of the riders in Amazons. And that's what Pokemon typings I'd give to every main Kamen Rider's base form. I do have ideas for a couple future videos like this, including other forms of domain riders and other riders in general. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe and share. If you've got any suggestions for any different rider typings from this video, let me know, and I'll see you all by the peeps next time.